Hi there, it's Melinda again with you today. Um, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am here sharing a layout I have created for scrapping clearly using the beautiful Pink Paisley Sailor V collection. This is the page I've created and here's the process. So I'm scrapping this photo of my husband and myself from a dinner we went to back in August. Um, and I'm starting off with that beautiful background paper. I I tested the photo against all of the different papers I had and this was my favourite. So I print most of my photos with a white border and I decided that this one wasn't even so I was going to chop it down and as you'll see in a minute I chop it down a bit more and then you'll see again that I chop it down a bit more so there's no white border. Uh, so yeah I'm just using my little creative memories trimmer to do that. I love this little thing, this little guillotine that I've been looking for for ages. So I pulled a doily from my stash and the vellum that I got in a few kits ago from Kylie in it's from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection and I just wanted to use that as a bit of a layer for some prettiness and, and gold. And here I go finishing chopping up that photo. We'll just layer that on a doily and then muck around a while with where I'm gonna place it on that piece of vellum, over to the side, to the middle, back to the side, to the other side, move it over a bit. I really liked the idea of including that too since it was just the two of us, but spoiler alert, it does not stay. So I've already pre-picked out a bunch of embellishments from the ephemera pack that I thought I might use. And also you can see those beautiful mirror acrylic stickers. I've got some sequins there. I've got some high swap alphabets. I've also got some of the like clear vellum stickers also in the same collection and the washing strips. This little frame was just gorgeous. I love that floral. I love those colours. But it just, I wasn't loving it. I do try it in a few different places. I really do try to make it work and then it's too square and then it doesn't work and then there's a gap. And but Again, that one doesn't make it either go to even the effort of taking off the plastic um, protective coat on that acetate piece and that doesn't make it either but that little ticket does so I'm just playing with the bits and pieces I've pulled out seeing what I like and how I want to put it yeah this uh, black and white stripe diamond piece as well I tried I really wanted to include it and I tried it and I tried it and I tried it <coughs> Excuse me. So I do, I put it in a few different places and then I just go, no, not happening. And there goes the two and the diamond. And then I saw the mirror stickers and went, yep, that's what I'm using. I'm going to use that for my title. Quick, easy. I had was toying with what title I was going to give this page and I couldn't come up with anything really creative or anything that really worked and I just went you know what I'm just going to go with love because it's love and it's my husband and I we were on a date and I felt fantastic and yeah so I decided that I needed a layer behind that photo and I pulled out this black and white stripe also from the Sailor V collection and also I pulled out this beautiful floral uh, I'm just trimming out a few of the flowers and the, the footage is going to cut out for a second and it's going to come back and everything's going to be miraculously trimmed out already. So there are my three little flower clusters that I've fussy cut. And I ended up using the pink side of that black and white stripe paper. I just felt that it worked better. Gave a bit of a pop of colour. And I save you, <laughs> save you the... Or do I? No, I leave it in. So I'm just going to attach this to some foam just to give it a little bit of dimension after I've attached it to the doily, then attach that whole piece to that pink piece of paper. I don't think I stick everything down for a little while though. I, it was, I don't know, I was just really, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do or how I wanted to do it, so I was a bit indecisive and a bit stressed out. This is the day before I flew out to a trip for work to Adelaide. Um, 
yeah, I did save you the, the torture of watching me apply double sided tape. Just curling up the edges a little bit on that paper and some more double sided tape. It's all miraculously stuck down. And um, putting my title on, and then I'm going to, I think from there, I'm going to start moving my bits and pieces around again to see where I want them. And um, placing those flowers. Sorry, there's a few headshots because I'm just trying to get it over, get the, just the right angle to get it to get the words straight. I did contemplate pulling out my T square ruler and just went up too hard. So happy with how it is. So I'm still trying with that that circular gold acetate piece, which I'm. It looks fine, but I end up going with something different. You come with the flows and a spoiler alert, they move around the page a bit and I have sped this part up four times. I move around the page a bit, but I do find homes and I'm really happy with how this page has come out. It's quite simple for me. There's not re there's no mixed media actually. And I yeah, I'm really happy with the simplicity of the page. I will say right now if you hear any strange drilling noises or anything, my husband is outside working while I'm doing my uh, voiceover. So this is going to go live tomorrow. I only got back a few hours ago from my trip away. Nothing quite like leaving things to the last minute, but I'm so glad I took the time to create this page so I wasn't in a crazy mad dash this afternoon. So that is where I realised that maybe I'm not going to use that circular piece. And I pull out some more of those acrylic stick, um, mirror stickers. They are so beautiful. If you haven't seen them in real life, they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So I realised that I didn't really have anywhere where I wanted to put my journaling. I didn't want to go straight to the background page. So I pulled out that tag and I'm sort of like, yeah, I like it, but I don't. So you'll watch me now move that around a bit, add a couple of other tags, take them away, add this, take that, go through the ephemera pack again. There are some beautiful, there's a couple of beautiful tags in that ephemera pack, but they are acetate and that, it, it just wasn't working. I did leave all this in because I quite like to see how people go from one thing to one, to the next, to the next and think it's quite interesting to watch. Um, so. I have left it all in. So I decided now I'm going to stick everything down. I'm using some fun foam and some double sided tape and some wet glue. Popping those flowers up a little bit just to give them a bit of dimension and then double sided tape for most of the rest of it. I struggled a little with the double sided tape here because um, I'd just done my nails as well. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't just couldn't make my fingers work properly. The struggle is real. <laughs> so just sticking all that down, finding where I want it. Trying some more tags. I think that pop of black there just gives it exactly what it needed. Really happy with that. So I'm going to start sticking everything down. You can see here I just flipped over that whole piece and I'm just applying uh, double sided tape around where I want the tag to sit so that I don't put tape where I don't want it. And I cut it out but I have stuck everything down I think using double sided tape already that like that cluster down the bottom where my photo is. And I've just applied double sided tape around that we can't see it behind the acetate. Uh, some wet glue and some more foam for that flower at the top. Oh look, I haven't even stuck that down yet. I'll tell a lie. There we go. So I have cut all of that out. As I said, I was struggling with having my nails just done. So I ended up pulling my scissors out to pull off the backing tape. I've already done my journaling as well. Uh, you don't see it until the close-ups, but I have put some crochet thread in that tag. 
really wanted to use this washi and it just, yeah, you watch me put it down and take it up and go, yes, no, no, yes, and I just, no, nah, it's just not right. So I give up. These washi, these washi pieces are absolutely gorgeous, different shapes, they're not just strips. And they've got gold, gold foiling on them as well. I think that that one that I just cut says always and forever. And then these are uh, these are tiny word stickers, but they're like see-through black with gold on them, and they are just gorgeous. And I end up using three of those, one with each of the floral kind of areas. And sorry for the headshot again, need to make sure it's straight. And the last one goes on top of that ampersand. There's not much more that I add here. Like I said, I add the crochet thread to that tag. I do some splatters using a tiny little paintbrush and my Color Blast Road Base Black Spray cover my photo up and just use that little paintbrush for it. I also added the a date a roller date stamp. And oh I also decided after I came after I've come back from my holiday that I needed something at the bottom. So I've used a couple of the branding strips and cut those down and popped, just stuck those down the bottom. It just sort of I felt like the page sort of just Need that finishing touch. So I've added those at the bottom. I'm really happy with how this page came out. It's another story told. It's what I, it's what I love about this hobby, uh, getting my stories told. Um, and here's the finished page. Oh, I also added in that little menu tab down the bottom and a couple of staples in three different places. So thank you again for stopping by and watching. Please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time out to watch my videos. I'm really enjoying making them. If there's something in particular you'd like to see, please do leave me a comment. Otherwise, happy scrapping, and I will see you next time. Thank you again for stopping by.